Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kyle Jones from Jones Sport Fishing back at camp. And, uh, yeah, we had a really good day today. So, yeah, it was awesome. Um, started out our day on the Oregon side. And uh, even though I got a couple of messages on, I think it was the TikTok videos, that said, oh, you shouldn't fish Oregon. There's never any fish over there. I hope you were being... Uh, was that sarcastic because you want to keep people out of over there or something? I don't, I don't know. Um, there was a load of fish and uh, we whacked them. Had my family out today. Had my kids, my beautiful wife, and my, uh, my wonderful in-laws out with me fishing. And um, we were, what, eight for ten in just the outgoing tide on the Oregon side. And we killed three of those. My daughter caught and released like a 25-pound king. You know, she's eight, so that was pretty cool. Uh, my little man Moses even caught one, so hopefully we'll have, I've got some video of some of that stuff here that uh, hopefully you guys can take a look at, and uh, we'll post some of that stuff up too. But uh, yeah, so great day today. Um, so fishing out of Oregon side on the Alcoa Tide is where I spent most of my time. I know Barry was over on the Washington side, and I think there was pretty good bite that happened over there. He um, he pretty was doing pretty decent right off the bat. I know he shot me a message kind of mid midday we were still catching a few fish and i think it had kind of died at that point for him haven't heard from him or brett kind of later on to see what happened maybe after low slack but um yeah through low slack that oregon side there was fish all over the place it was it was awesome i mean really we actually we jumped out there ran up dropped in and had a fish on i think before we got well we barely had gotten all the rods out looked at the live scope it was like well there's one and looked up and one of the bow rods was tacoed so awesome awesome day um anytime you can get out and land a bunch of big kings like that um whether they're keepers or not i mean that's just that's just felt like we we're getting even today so um as my father-in-law put it get even with those suckers so but uh yeah good fishing uh, we're getting bit you know i've kind of changed a little bit of my program uh you know i've I've been known i guess it's a big time pro troll and spinner fishing the last couple of years but this year i've been messing with those triangle flashers on my bow rods with 16s and man i'm i'm actually loving the triangle flashers again um we did pretty good those triangle flashers were doing good weren't they henry yes yeah we're running bait where's yeah there's henry right there um we were running anchovies this morning we were running herring the other day uh just you know we're running them in helmets it's kind of a foolproof way to keep that bait rolling and anchovies the one anchovy i don't even i don't even think that anchovy was done being frozen i think that fish bit a frozen anchovy this morning it was so stiff i couldn't even hardly shove the toothpick through it so um triangle flashers where i'm with that what what that's allowing me to do is i'm not having to run 20 ounce leads or heavier than 16 on my bow rods i'm running those at uh so whatever the depth is, I'm running them at like plus five or plus 10, depending on the current. So like in that Oregon, on that Oregon side on that, especially on that outgoing tide, I mean, I found a big deal is like, you need to be, you need to be near the bottom. And so our bow rods in 50 feet of water, we were running them at 60 feet, getting bit with the, with the triangles. And then with 16 ounces and a pro troll or a short bus, we were running those at 70. What were they? 75, 70, 75, 70. 70 five. 75 henry says i can't even remember what we were doing but um yeah 75 feet there and then we were running the 12 ounces out the back a little bit for no 12 ounces were at 75 yeah. 16s were at 65 yeah. that's what we were doing <laughs> yeah so see we got a pile of eggs there to cure um but yeah guys fish has been really good there's a lot of fish around you know, sometimes, you know, we're not necessarily killing boatfuls of keeper Chinook, but I mean, I'll probably have the post up here. The photo for the, uh, the big one that Kylie caught will probably be the uh, thumbnail here. So you guys will have seen that one. Big fish, lots of them. And we're having fun today. I don't know what it was, uh, at home inland, but I bet it was in the nineties and today it was 60 degrees with a little bit of rain. So absolutely beautiful weather. We're loving it. Um, we've got, hey, and here's the thing. We released some big fish today that are headed home, weren't they, Henry? Yeah. Um, so inland stuff, man, we, we've got, you know, it, whether you're gonna, you wanna fish with Jesse on the Hanford Reach or, or Jesse at home with us or 
With the crew at home on the Clearwater and a Confluence, we got a pile of fish coming. Brett's gonna be there, um, so we've got we're gonna have a full crew at home. It'll be it'll be really fun. September, October, uh, steelhead's supposed to be fantastic. So, you guys, if you want if you want to get in on a trip, uh, get a hold of us. Here comes the big fish girl. Hey, did you catch a big one today? Yeah, she's rocking it. But uh, kids are curing up the eggs. Anyway, guys, spend time with your families. God bless you guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And we do have some openings. So if you guys want to get down here, we've still got some stuff open. Anyway, guys, we'll talk to you tomorrow.